Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to day 202 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 202, July 21st 2022 365 days bible reading old testament hosea chapter 3 hosea chapter 4 hosea chapter 5 new testament romans 6 15 to 23 romans 17 1 to 6 psalms and proverbs psalm 88 verse 1 to 9 old testament and iv version hosea 3 1 to 5 Hosea's reconciliation with his wife. The Lord said to me, Go, show your love to your wife again, though she is loved by another man and is an adulteress. Love her as the Lord loves the Israelites, though they turn to other gods and love the sacred raising cakes. So I brought her for fifteen shekels of silver and about a homer and a lethek of barley then i told her you are to live with me many days you must not be a prostitute or be intimate with any man and i will behave the same way toward you for the israelites will live many days without king or prince without sacrifice or sacred stones without ephod or household gods afterward the israelites will return and seek the lord their god and David their king, they will come trembling to the Lord and to his blessings in the last days. Hosea 4, 1-19 The charge against Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of good in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds, and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Because of this, the land dries up, and all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the field, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea are swept away. But let no one bring a charge. Let no one accuse another, for your people are like those who bring charges against the priest. You stumble day and night, and the prophets stumble with you. So I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest, because you have ignored the law of your God. I will also ignore your children. The more priests there were, the more they sinned against me. They exchange their glorious God for something disgraceful. They feed on the sins of my people and relish their wickedness. And it will be like people, like priests. I will punish both of them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They will eat but not have enough. They will engage in prostitution but not flourish. Because they have deserted the Lord to give themselves to prostitution old wine and new wine take away their understanding my people consult a wooden idol and a diviner's rod speaks to them a spirit of prostitution leads them astray they are unfaithful to their god they sacrifice on the mountain tops and burn offerings on the hills on the oak poplar and terebint where the shade is pleasant therefore your daughters Turn to prostitution and your daughters in law to adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they turn to prostitution, nor your daughters in law when they commit adultery, because the men themselves consort with harlots and sacrifice with shrine prostitutes. A people without understanding will come to ruin. Though you, Israel, commit adultery, do not let Judah become guilty. Do not go to Gilgal, do not go up to Beth Avon, and do not swear as surely as the Lord lives. 
The Israelites are stubborn like a stubborn heifer. How then can the Lord pasture them like lambs in a meadow? Ephraim is joined to idols, leave them alone. Even when their drinks are gone, they continue their prostitution. Their rulers dearly love shameful ways. A whirlwind will sweep them away and their sacrifices will bring them shame. Hosea 5, 1 to 15. Judgment against Israel. Hear this, you priest. Pay attention, you Israelites. Listen, royal house. This judgment is against you. You have been a snare at Mizpah, a net spread out on Tabor. The rebels are knee deep in slaughter. I will discipline all of them. I know all about Ephraim. Israel is not hidden from me. Ephraim, you have now turned to prostitution. Israel is corrupt. Their deeds do not permit them to return to their God. A spirit of prostitution is in their heart. They do not acknowledge the Lord. Israel's arrogance testifies against them. The Israelites, even Ephraim, stumble in their sin. Judah also stumbles with them when they go with their flocks and herds to seek the Lord. They will not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. They are unfaithful to the Lord. They give birth to illegitimate children. When they celebrate their new moon fe feast, they will devour their he will devour their fields. Sound the trumpet in Gibeah, the horn in Ramah, raise the battle cry in Beth Avon, lead on Benjamin. Ephraim will be laid waste on the day of reckoning. Among the tribes of Israel, I proclaim what is certain. Judah's leaders are like those who move boundary stones. I will pour out my wrath on them like a flood of water. Ephraim is oppressed, trampled in judgment, intent on pursuing idols. I am like a moth of Ephraim, like wrath to the people of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness, and Judah he soars, then Ephraim turned to Assyria and sent to the great king for help. But he is not able to cure you, not able to heal your sores, for I will be like a lion to Ephraim, like a great lion to Judah. I will tear them to pieces and go away. I will carry them off with no one to rescue them. Then I will return to my lie until they have borne their guilt and seek my face. In their misery, they will earnestly seek me. New Testament and IV version, Romans 6, 15 to 23. Slaves to righteousness. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? By no means. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey? Whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that, though you used to be slaves to sin, you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. Just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever-increasing wickedness, so now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin, and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 7, 1-6 Released from the law, bound to Christ. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law has authority over someone only as long as that person lives for example by law a married woman is bound to her husband as long as he lives but if her husband dies she is released from the law that binds her to him so then 
If she has sexual relations with another man while her husband is still alive, she is called an adulteress. But if her husband dies, she is released from that law and is not an adulteress if she marries another man. So, my brothers and sisters, you also died to the law through the body of Christ that you might belong to another, to him who was raised from the dead, in order that we might bear fruit for God. For when we were in the realm of the flesh, the sinful passion aroused by the law were at work in us, so that we bore fruit for death. But now, by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law, so that we serve in the new way of the spirit and not in the old way of the written code. Hallelujah. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 89, verse 1 to 9. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah for the director of music, according to Mahalath Leon North, a masculine of Haman the Ezraite. Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. May my prayer come before you, turn your ear to my cry. I am overwhelmed with troubles and my life draws near to death. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like one without strength. I am set apart with the dead like the slain who lie in the grave. Whom you remember no more who are cut off, cut off from your care. You have put me in the lowest pit in the darkest depths. Your wrath lies heavily on me. You have overwhelmed me with all your waves. You have taken from me my closest friends and have made me repulsive to them. I am confined and cannot escape. My eyes are dim with grief. I call to you, Lord, every day I spread out my hands to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, it will be my utmost pleasure to lead you in this amazing prayer of salvation. Please kindly repeat after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life. And help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said that prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead, send us an email to salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com let us know you gave your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk god bless you thank you so much for hanging around with me again today please kindly remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok it was a pleasure having you here today. I look forward to another day tomorrow with you. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.